Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Ableton Live Insider Tips. And this time I want to show you how you can record the MIDI output from various MIDI effects, whether that's native MIDI effects from Live or Max for Life devices or even plugins. Okay, so I've got the ARP which is part of the Max for Life Essentials. Uh, it's a pretty nice arpeggiator. And I'm going to play something now. And if I want to record this, I'm going to do playback. Do a count in four bars, because that's what I like. And turn that on. And start recording okay that's enough so now when we look in here and when we turn the ARP off then we can hear what's actually being played recorded but of course this is not what we have in the end um, and if we want to be able to get this in a MIDI clip then what we need to do is we need to have another MIDI track and we're going to drag the instrument preset in this case the grand piano onto the second track and then we can set MIDI from to the first MIDI track and we can simply record this now and we can simply record this now Right, okay, so we'll take it down to nine bars. And when I fold this now and enlarge it, you can see it's actually recorded the MIDI data. So now, if we don't want this anymore, we can just set it to all ins and then just play the clip. And now it only plays this one, I can even turn this off. So now if we want it, we can just simply edit the MIDI notes, um, adjust the velocity, however we like. Um, as I said, this works for all MIDI effects, Life devices, Max for Life devices, and also plugins. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.